This book, setting forth and outlined the grand redemptive scheme of God, occupies a position unequaled by any work in the entire range of Baha'i literature excepting the Kitabi Akdas, Baha'u'llah's most holy book. Well, those are the words of the beloved guardian about this remarkable book. He says, revealed on the eve of the declaration of Baha'u'llah's mission, it, this book, proffered to mankind the choice sealed wine, and broke the seals of the book referred to by Daniel, and disclosed the meaning of the words destined to remain closed up till the time of the end. Well, that, that gives us a brief glimpse into the wonder and greatness of this book, which we're told to study with great care, that it will help us answer the questions we're asked by those who are seeking to know more about the Baha'i faith. In this book, you will find an explanation of all those things which have puzzled and troubled and sometimes even divided Christianity and to which they want to know the answers. The Trinity, resurrection, baptism, the Eucharist, confession, the end of the world, the story of Adam and Eve, reincarnation, subject after subject is explained in this wonderful book by Baha'u'llah. The National Spiritual Assembly of the Hawaiian Islands in their television series made a brief demonstration, the one you're about to see, so that you'll know more and more about the majesty and the greatness of this remarkable book. It will help you explain one of the fundamental teachings of the Baha'i faith as given in the book itself by Baha'u'llah on the oneness of God and his messengers. Well, of course, of course, what you're about to see is in the form of a chart, a drawing, and it's only a feeble explanation of the great truth it is trying so inadequately to convey. But on the other hand, it may inspire you to make a far better and more exciting visual age for your own use. And we can't repeat too often that the truth explained here and in the demonstration refers to all the prophets and messengers of God, all without exception, without preference. All, Krishna, Moses, Buddha, Zoroaster, Christ, Muhammad, the Bab, Baha'u'llah. We've merely limited the, them to four in this uh, demonstration for simplicity's sake, but it's true of all of them, as you know. Remember, though, this book is the source, and there's no better place in all the world to start your deepening studies than right here in the Katabigan, an ocean of truth in the water of life found in this mighty sea. And what you'll see now is only one of the little pearls in this mighty ocean. I would like to demonstrate for you visually our song, but before doing that, just so that you'll always know when you hear the word Baha'i, who and what a Baha'i is. Let me show you. Christ was the founder of Christianity. Baha'u'llah was the founder of the Baha'i faith. Baha was one of his titles. Baha glory, Baha'u'llah glory of God. Now, a Christian is a follower of Christ. A Baha'i is a follower of Baha'u'llah. Of Christ, of Baha'u'llah. Those are prepositions. So whenever you hear the word Baha'i, you know that's a follower of Baha'u'llah. And now about the oneness of God and religion. Baha'u'llah very often likens God to the sun because the sun is the physical light giver of the world, right? Without the sun, there'd be only darkness. We'd perish and we'd die away. The same is true of God. Without the light of God, without the love of the messengers of God, Christ, Baha'u'llah, and the others, our spiritual life would die away. We'd be more like uh, animals in our nature than like spiritual beings. Now, we need an earth. So here's a nice green earth and... Uh, We'll have a few inhabitants of the earth. This is not Adam and Eve, by the way. This is just people like you and me. <laughs> well, like, maybe not just like us. They're not in very good shape, but then the world's not in very good shape. So they'll do for our demonstration. Now, the sun doesn't come down to the earth, does it? It sends its rays. The same is true of the messengers of God. God doesn't come down to the earth. He sends his messengers. And these messengers are mirrors. As you see in each one of these blue mirrors... There is a reflection of that sunlight of God. They all reflect that same attributes of Almighty God. You see, he sends his messengers to the earth. Now, let's say we'll call this one Moses, Buddha, Christ, and Baha'u'llah. Now, if you call these messengers by their name, Moses, Buddha, Christ, Baha'u'llah, they're different. But if you go by the light of God that shines in each one of these mirrors, they're one and the same. They only appeared at a different time in history. But as you can see, they all shed that same sunlight of God upon the earth. Each one of them 
bringing that same truth at a different time in history, uncovering the face of wisdom to mankind according to the needs of the age in which they appear. And that's a very beautiful thing. So they're not separate, really. They're one and the same. For example, supposing now here, this is again at the sunlight. This is a mirror. You're sitting there at home, and there's the sun shining, and you see the sun in the mirror. Supposing I could hold up four mirrors for you, one after the other. Moses, Buddha, Christ, Baha'u'llah. The sun would be shining in all four, and you would see suns in each one. Which would you say was the best? Well, I'm sure that you would agree that they're all equal. One is not greater than the other. And God in the heavens, like the sun, remains unknowable, indefinable, beyond our definition and description. And that is the way it is with religion. It's a progressive thing. Or in yet another way, suppose we describe them as the days of the week. Because when it's dark, a new sun comes up. That's what happens with religion. A new sunlight comes up with Moses, a new sunlight with Buddha, a new sunlight came up with Christ, and a new sunlight comes up with Baha'u'llah. So that's when you would say Baha'u'llah was the return of Christ. It may return to this light, as Christ would be the return of, of Buddha, Moses, and so on, you see. That's the meaning of it. If you go by Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, they're different. If you say Moses, Buddha, Christ, Baha'u'llah, they're different. But if you remember there is one God, and the light they bring to mankind progressively on a Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, continually leading man closer to the truth, then we understand the oneness of God. Because you see, God is not in competition with himself. There's no exclusive salvation for the Jew, or for the Buddhist, or the Christian, or the Baha'i, or for the Muslim. They are all one and the same, because religion is a living and a growing thing, not something lifeless and unchanging. In the teaching of Moses, we see the bud, the seed, in the teaching of Buddha, the tree, in the teaching of Christ, the flower, and in the teaching of Baha'u'llah, the fruit. All part of one great redemptive scheme of God for mankind. Baha'u'llah says the tragedy is that mankind forgets the message and remembers the messenger. The oneness of God, the oneness of religion. So you see, that song that was sung for us was more beautiful than we thought because God is one and man is one. And all the religions do agree. And when we, the people of the world, understand this oneness of God and his messengers and the oneness of the hearts of men, when we believe in these three onenesses, we will indeed have world unity. Shoghi Effendi tells us that this book ranks among the priceless treasures cast forth from the billowing ocean of Baha'u'llah's revelation. Those are his words. It was revealed, he said, within the space of two days and two nights, and was written in fulfillment of a prophecy of the Bab, who said that the promised one, Baha'u'llah, would complete his own unfinished book, the Persian Bayan. It was also written in answer to questions asked of Baha'u'llah by the Bab's maternal uncle who was not a believer, until the wonder of the words of this marvelous book captured his heart. The beloved guardian makes this promise about the kitab gun He says, well, and these are his words, well may it be claimed that of all the books revealed by the author of the Baha'i Revelation, this book alone, by sweeping away the age-long barriers that have so insurmountably separated the great religions of the world, has laid down a broad and unassailable foundation for the complete and permanent reconciliation of their followers. Imagine that. The complete and permanent reconciliation of all religions, and we have the key right here in this book, the Kitabi Gan. Well, I'm sure I need say no more than, than that about this marvelous book. What days those must have been for the believers following Baha'u'llah's revelation of this book. Now, Beale, the historian, says, so intoxicated were those who had quaffed from the cup of Baha'u'llah's presence that in their eyes the palaces of kings appeared more ephemeral than a spider's web. Many a night, now Beale says, no less than ten persons subsisted on no more than a penny's worth of dates. And no one knew to whom actually belonged the shoes, the cloaks, the robes that were to be found in their houses. Their own names they had forgotten. Their hearts were emptied of everything except adoration for their beloved Baha'u'llah. Oh, for the joy of those days, Nabi'u'llah, and for the gladness and the wonder of those hours. Well, beloved friends, I'm sure that in this book, you will find some of that joy and wonder and sweetness when you study it. You will feel the presence of the world center, and above all, you will feel the presence of the Bab and of Baha'u'llah, the glory of God, the supreme redeemer of men. Well, that's, 
That's the end of our visit together. We hope this deepening class may help in some small way to make this the most exciting and profitable year of your life in teaching triumphs and in spiritual progress, both in your personal life and in your administrative life, and above all, in your life together in your own wonderful Baha'i community. And you might say a few prayers that I can make some progress too. Thank you.